Listen to me, please. You're like me, a homo sapiens, a wise human. Life, a miracle in the universe, appeared around four billion years ago. And we humans, only 200,000 years ago. Yet we have succeeded in disrupting the balance that is so essential to life. Our Earth relies on a balance in which every being has a role to play and exists only through the existence of another being. A subtle, fragile harmony that is easily shattered. The Earth counts time in billions of years. It took more than four billion years for it to make trees. In the chain of species, trees are a pinnacle, a perfect living sculpture. Trees defy gravity. They are the only natural element in perpetual movement toward the sky. They grow unhurriedly toward the sun that nourishes their foliage. They have inherited from those minuscule cyanobacteria the power to capture light's energy. They store it and feed off it, turning it into wood and leaves which then decompose into a mixture of water, mineral, vegetable, and living matter. What do we know about life on Earth? How many species are we aware of? A tenth of them? A hundredth, perhaps? What do we know about the bonds that link them? The Earth is a miracle. Life remains a mystery. Families of animals form, united by customs and rituals that are handed down through the generations. In the great adventure of life on Earth, every species has a role to play. Every species has its place. None is futile or harmful. They all balance out. Some adapt to the nature of their pasture, and their pasture adapts to them, and both gain. The animal sates its hunger, and the tree can blossom again. Is excessive exploitation of our resources threatening the lives of every species? Climate change accentuates the threat. By 2050, a quarter of the Earth's species could be threatened with extinction. And that's where you, Homo sapiens, wise human, enter the story.
you benefit from a fabulous four billion year old legacy bequeathed by the earth. You're only 200,000 years old, but you have changed the face of the world. Despite your vulnerability, you have taken possession of every habitat and conquered swaths of territory like no other species before you. We are destroying the cycle of a life that was given to us. Since 1950, the world's population has almost tripled. And since 1950, we have more fundamentally altered our island, the Earth, than in all of our 200,000 year history. Our mode of development has not fulfilled its promises. In 50 years, the gap between rich and poor has grown wider than ever. Today, half the world's wealth is in the hands of the richest 2% of the population. Every week, over a million people swell the populations of the world's cities. One human being in six now lives in a precarious, unhealthy, overpopulated environment without access to daily necessities such as water, sanitation, or electricity. And in 50 years, in a single lifetime, the Earth has been more radically changed than by all previous generations of humanity. We have created phenomena we cannot control. Since our origins, water, air, and forms of life are intimately linked. But recently, we have broken those links. Let's face the facts. We must believe what we know. All that we have just seen is a reflection of human behavior. We have shaped the earth in our image. We have very little time to change. How can this century carry the burden of nine billion human beings if we refuse to be called to account for everything we alone have done?